Okay, um, I'm actually in just installing the uh, battery monitor by Renogy. The display screen, I guess. The shunt is already installed up front in a in a weatherproof box. Um, so I'm gonna measure this out, or I did measure this out. It measures out to be the same as the back. And then it just uses some pressure fingers on the sides to uh, hold it in place. So you basically just pressure fit it into the hole that you make. Um, I taped it to try to prevent any wood splintering. And I'm going to use a roto zip tool. Uh, this is actually a mess craft maximum roto tool um, with a cutoff wheel on it to try to cut that off. And we'll see how it goes. best wet option it is generating a ton of heat and creating a bit of smoke I need a very fine blade to just finish that off. Uh, yeah. Oh, I not get through on this side. Right, right there. Loosen, no. Loosen, no. Oh, there we are. We're loose now. Okay. Besides it looking a little on a little burnt on the inside, which you're not gonna see. That kind of seems like it worked out alright. The wood itself looks good, with the exception that I overextended the cut by about a millimeter on that side. But this is gonna cover that. Okay, so everything is 
pretty much installed there's a couple of little things to button stuff up but that is really it and then obviously the setup of the uh, charge controller and stuff like that uh, the battery monitor but this is what we have here so this is my solar cables coming from the charge controller from inside the trailer comes out comes down uh, I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna store those just yet this might work uh, I do have a uh, propane cover to cover it so that might actually just work just wrap them around on top of the propane tank um, and then in the for the batteries here we have see if I can get these open it's uh, I got my my little jumper cable to go between the two six volt batteries it is uh, really tight so it's hard to see hard to get in here but Let's see here so basically you can see there i got a, the big uh ground cable coming up there it's got a little bit of a loop and then it comes up here and uh connects right there okay that's on the battery negative side then you have your communication for your um for the uh display uh inside and then a power button that powers that display uh, i think it always also uses that just to know uh, like as a reference voltage then i have the ground that goes all the way inside to the inverter as well as the grounds for uh the rv 12 volt system uh everything has to go through this shunt right so everything that's not the battery this side the battery goes this side and then you have your communications okay now if we go to the other side here the other battery this one opens up a little better is this is my live i made a nice little jumper you got you got the 12 volt lives obviously for the uh rv and then i made a little jumper that goes over to a a and l fuse and then goes to uh the number one this is all number one anyways uh but number one awg cable uh, that goes to the inverter inside so that is the setup out here and I just stuck the uh, the A and L fuse right to the top of the battery cleaned it off some uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, some double-sided uh, VHB uh, M3, or 3M tape and that is about it and then I ran all the cables through underneath and uh, and up through a hole that I drilled in the floor let's go inside and I'll show you that part and uh, the shunt needs to be uh, protected from water. So I put it in this junction box um, that has a gasketed lid. The holes obviously where the wires are coming up through. Um, I highly doubt you're really gonna get any water in there, but you might get spray if you're driving in the rain. So what I'm going to do is actually seal those holes up from the inside uh, with silicone. I'm just gonna basically fill each one of those holes up with silicone. Uh, and, you know, potentially even the whole bottom of this uh, uh, case, right? And I don't know, I might just, just to give it some backing to set up against, I might uh, tape the backside, the underside, but I don't know. I think I might just build it up with silicone. So, so once this lid is on, and well, once those holes are silicone, but even for now, that is basically a protected little spot for that, uh, for that to reside. Just bunch this in and close that up. Okay, so set it up so that the battery monitor display is right as you enter in through the door. So I'm actually outside the RV right now. And uh, the battery monitor is right there. I haven't programmed it or anything, so it's saying all zeros and stuff, uh, whatnot. I've been burning the batteries all day with the lights on, so. And the fridge has been running on propane, but it still uses electric for uh, for the remainder or for igniting and then this is the board installed here it's uh you can see the rover right there the uh kilowatt uh pure sign inverter uh down there the eliminator the bluetooth module is powered up this is the back side of that uh uh battery monitor display i have to tidy up this battery monitor cable still there's a bunch hanging down still and stuff i gotta pull it up tidy it and uh zip tie it and there's a fuse that's protecting the rover uh, because like we have, you know, 100, 100 120 amp uh, going there. Well, I think, I think I got a 120 amp fuse 
right? And then it's basically right connected to that. So, uh, so I got a 40 amp in there to protect the Rover and, uh, and the wiring obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's basic. That's the setup right there. Uh, looks good. I didn't bother installing the switch for the inverter cause like it's right here. Um, I'll turn it on right here. There we go. We'll turn her on. And uh, I got no draws on it or nothing, so the fans aren't firing up or nothing. You can see it's reading the battery voltage at 12.4 there. Um, you know, so it looks good. Uh, one other button-up thing I have, like along with sealing the holes on the uh, box on the front of the trailer there, is the hole in the floor right here that I had to drill. Um, I'm basically, like the way they do it on the RV for the, from the manufacturer is... After they drill the hole and cut through the insulation, they fill it full with uh, expanding foam. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, get that filled in with expanding foam, and then it's watertight again and sealed. Uh, keeps the cool, the cold out and the heat in, I guess, because this trailer has been hot. Uh, it's been beautiful days here. So. But yeah, I don't know. It looks really good. It's going to perform, I'm sure. I haven't hooked up the solar panels yet, but uh, 400 watts of solar should definitely perform quite well. Um, and then, uh, oh, I still have to run uh, the wire down, the 110, uh, down through that hole to the back of the trailer to uh, power up the bar fridge. That was the main reason for having the inverter. A um, couple other things I'm going to do in the future here is i need to make legs for the solar panels they're they're legless uh meant to be mounted to the roof but explained why i'm not doing that um so i need to make some legs for those and then the idea here was is there's a usb port on the inverter so i'm thinking about buying a usb extension and mounting a usb port uh right here somewhere um, along with the monitor and I'm also thinking oh, I got an extra 110 outlet there and the fridge isn't gonna eat up that inverter at all so I think I'm gonna uh, install an outlet here maybe with some other uh, USB ports and then we got some easy access to some uh, shore like power obviously way way down on the uh, on the wattage but uh, you know if we want to run a little something like the blender and make some uh make some uh, margaritas or something we can do that so that's it it's raining i gotta go close my stuff up uh thank you for watching you have any questions mark them down below if you like this video uh hit the uh the uh what do you call it the like button so that it gets recommended to other viewers and uh subscribe to the channel if you like this uh type of content uh, and other than that, thank you for cam uh, thank you for watching and uh, happy camping. Have a great day.